Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today on What The Hey, I am once again reacting to yet another requested video. Today's video request comes from Pravan Prasanan, SES1901055, so hello to you and thank you very much for requesting today's video. The video in question that I'm checking out today is titled Evolution of Daisy Duck, 82 Years Explained Cartoon Evolution, which was uploaded on March 14th of 2019. The video duration is 15 minutes and 42 seconds, and the video description describes the different characters included in the video and how they will be discussed. The video itself was created and released by Dave Lee Down Under, so hello to you and thank you very much for creating and releasing your work. Like with all of my reaction videos, if there's something in this video that I feel may disturb someone to some degree, I'll be sure to mention that in the video description, so feel free to check that out before watching the rest of the video. So with all of that out of the way, let's actually watch the video itself. Ooh, we're going like old- oh, that's like the old Disney style, Daisy I like Daisy Duck it. is one of Disney's most well-known characters of all time. She's, She's so cool. She's a confident, and slightly temperamental counterpart of Donald Like Duck, Donald. Though much more sophisticated and high maintenance, as that's well why they as work. the best friend and sometimes friendly foil of Minnie Mouse. While yes. Daisy has become synonymous that with so Disney good. I love that over show. the years, it may surprise you to learn that she only ever appeared in 14 classic Disney shorts between the 1930s and 1950s, before becoming a star of comics and a more regular screen character thanks to a slew of television appearances in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Oh, yes, this the is House despite of debuting only three years after Donald, who appeared in a total of over 170 wow. classic shorts. In 2019, hmm. Daisy Duck turns 82 years old. And she grandma, bro. Of existence, her look, design, and personality have evolved subtly through changing animation styles. Such good video, animation I will trace design, the evolution bro. Of Daisy Duck right from her first appearance as Donna Duck in 1937 oh. to today in 2019. Oh, that, to do such so, a good we will show. look at the most drastic and important changes prevalent across a selection of classic shorts and series in this edition of Explaining Disney. I've never seen this. This is cool. Never seen this series. Very good Daisy idea. Duck would first appear in Mickey Mouse short Don Donald, the first ever headline starring role for Donald Duck, and one of the very few Mickey Mouse shorts not to feature Mickey in any capacity. Let's in this go. short, Daisy appears under the name Donna Duck and is introduced as a love interest for which Donald could comically buy his affections. As the short is set in Mexico, the character first appears in traditional Mexican attire with a green and red color scheme. She is She's drawn very in stylish. Pumps, which, much like in the appearance of Minnie Mouse, are Designed for comic effect. She's also drawn with shiny eyelids, as was a traditional animation style of the time. It's also worth noting that the character's voice here is provided by Donald's voice actor, Clarence Nash. Save money, yes. This is the one and only time the characterization of Donna ever appeared in a cartoon short, though she would briefly appear afterwards in numerous issues of the UK Mickey Mouse comic series, Mickey Never Mouse Weekly, seen that. in a short run series of 1937 strips titled Donald and Donna, which just so happen to be Donald's That's a first cool name. I like that. Donna. Considering this as Daisy's first appearance may be controversial for some, as the identities of Daisy and Donna have been established as two separate characters in some Disney media. A number of yeah. Donald Duck comic strips would show both Daisy and Donna together. They're However, twins, it is worth bro. noting that the comics and the shorts never quite share the same continuity, with the hmm. comics arguably being considered non-canon or taking oh. place in an alternate Disney universe. Partly the reason I scarcely refer to the comics in this series. Regardless hmm. of this, the fact remains that the mere existence of Donna would go on to inspire the creation of Daisy in later years. Not only in that they're hmm. both female ducks, but in that they both share a similar design. That mm -hmm. said, the Disney it's studios such a good do design. consider Donna to be the very first appearance of Daisy and have even mentioned so in printed publications. They look similar. The Don Donald short on multiple Donald and Daisy compilation collections on home media. Some publications even refer to Donna as perhaps being a character portrayed by Daisy. Let's also not forget that Goofy had initially debuted as a character called Dippy Dog. It wow. would be for another three years in 1940 that the character would appear again in Donald Duck's short Mr. Duck Steps Out, where she would finally take on the name Oh, the style's Daisy. so fun. In this short, Daisy once again appears as Donald's love interest as we are witness to what we assume is their very first date. Here, Daisy is dressed in a puffed sleeve blouse, large bow, oversized pumps, and a bangle. The ruffled feathers on the lower portion of her coat, much like in the design of Donna, were designed to appear as a skirt. We can see that right from the very beginning 
beginning, Daisy appears pretty much as we've come to know and love her in more or less her classic design. Though throughout so the good. classic shorts, the colour scheme of her clothing would continuously change from short to short, with her most recognisable pink and purple colour scheme you gotta not change clothes, bro. with the character until much later. While Daisy looks quite similar to her previous Donna design here, it's important to note her cuter, more expressive and more human-like design, employing animator Fred Moore's character style introduced in 1939. What They're you all anthropomorphic, huh? Given Daisy was a later addition to the core Disney family, she's the one main character to be introduced in colour and with a squash mm. and stretch animation design, having debuted outside of the black I and like white this. era this of Raho's animation. In this short, Daisy was originally voiced once again by Clarence oh. Nash, taking That's on Donald's duck-like voice. <laughs> However, in more recent years, the short has been redubbed for syndication with modern voice actress Tress McNeil. Hmm. Hello, Donald. Oh, such Daisy's good voice next acting, bro. I love were it. Mere cameos, so good. Where she would appear in costume, ditching her more traditional look. The first of which being 1941 Donald Duck short, A Good I've Time never for seen a that. Dive, where she appeared as an Arabian dancer in a penny arcade machine oh, that no. was an amusement arcade. While Bruh. this seems pretty tame today, for 1940s standards, this was certainly quite risque, yeah. especially in an animated short most specifically geared towards children. The appearance of Daisy in this short also remains Change. Colors today, with most modern day Disney publications referring to this as a it's got look horns, bro. Or simply omitting it from reference altogether. Hmm. Then again, in 1941's Mickey Mouse short Nifty 90s, Daisy would briefly appear alongside Donald, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. It's this short, the only appearance of Daisy in a classic Mickey short, that we could consider as the moment she was finally initiated into the lexicon of Disney's main recurring mm -hmm. characters. Though in 1940, she had become a regular character of the Donald Duck newspaper strips. That's so However, cool. However, mostly due to the fact that Donald was exclusively used in a series of wartime The fact that it's legit that he served in the army is so funny. She wouldn't appear in the short films again for another four years until 1945's <laughs> That Donald's looks Fire. ominous. Here, Daisy takes on her most iconic purple and pink colour design for the very first time. Same so shoes. Her shoes would remain green. Yeah. And Daisy would be presented with a normal voice for the first time as provided by Gloria Blondell who would voice the character for a total Total of six shorts. Good night. Oh. Oh, that same year's such a good Duck voice, dude. would see Donald Duck undergoing anger management to cure his bad temper. While Donald's issues would be somewhat fixed by the short's end, we discover that Daisy too is not without her That's issues, why they work together, bro. her very own somewhat temperamental side for the first time. Here she would appear in a yellow and green colour scheme, which would be used quite frequently from here on. 1946's Donald's Double Trouble would once again see Donald vying for Daisy's affections by hiring a more refined doppelganger in a short that once again and explores the early tumultuous relationship of Daisy and Donald. The short also gives another early display of Daisy's volatile side. In that same year, Daisy would briefly cameo in Dumb Battle of the Yukon after a letter That's she sends funny. Donald asking for a fur coat works as the impetus for Donald to travel to the Yukon to hunt bears. This short would show the lengths Donald would go for Daisy, further cementing their meaningful If he wants to, he would, bro. Sleepy Time Donald is the first short in which Daisy takes more of a lead role as she tails a sleepwalking Donald through the streets at midnight. That's a big Told boot, bro. From her perspective, Daisy even breaks the fourth wall and speaks to the audience a number of times. Here she appears in multiple different outfits, all with varied colour schemes. While Sleepy Time Donald could be seen as Daisy's first lead role, the short which is generally considered as her first headliner or starring role was 1947's Donald's Dilemma. While the short takes on Donald's name, it is actually Daisy who is faced with said dilemma. After Donald is hit on the head by a falling flower pot, his voice improves, he becomes more refined and becomes a famous hmm. singer. Only problem is he gains amnesia and forgets who Daisy oh, no. is. In the short, which is narrated That's by tough. Daisy, she must choose whether to have the old Donald back all to herself or allow the new Donald to be given to the world. The short sees Daisy suffer all kinds of health issues, including oh, no. depression, oh, wow. insanity, insomnia, <sighs> That would not be a thing and, today. And, and wow. Anorexia. This is a darkly twisted comic short which shows Disney's attempt to break the boundaries of animated Good. entertainment That's as it cool. became a medium that not only children but adults could also mm -hmm. enjoy. The short also works as a great character study of Daisy and her feelings for Donald. Ooh. The dark nature of the short, however, would lead to it being heavily censored oh, in later re-releases. Again, Daisy would take on multiple different <laughs> clothing designs here that would be most prominently featured in pink and red. 
1948's Donald's Dream Voice would see Daisy predominantly in her green colour scheme and would find her voiced by Ruth Clifford, the then voice artist of Minnie Mouse, who really? took her vocal duties for this short huh. only. Two years later, in 1950's Crazy Over Daisy, Daisy's next appearance and the first and only classic short to bear her name, Gloria Blondell would return to voice the role for one final time. This short Scrooge? would be set in the 1890s so and featured Daisy in a period-inspired gown. Mm. Throughout the early 1950s, Donald Duck's popularity continued to soar to mm -hmm. new heights. Between mid-1950 and early 1954, he would appear in 21 shorts, while Daisy continued to be underutilised, appearing in none. Mm. It's a assume that storytellers perhaps felt that the inclusion of Daisy harnessed the potential of Donald's own stories, in the same way that Mickey Mouse would rarely appear with Minnie for said reason during the same hmm. time period. Daisy's next appearance wouldn't be until four years after her last, in 1954's Such a cute design, I love it. As a further exploration of their relationship, the short would feature a dream sequence where Donald imagines married life with Daisy. Hmm. Here she would appear in more modern 1950s clothing, continuing to cement her role as a fashionista in the Disney universe, and one of the few characters who Why is she to slightly pink? To styles. This short would mark her final appearance during the classic run of Donald Shorts. Hmm. 1954 would also mark the start of Daisy's own comic series, Daisy That's Duck's cool. Diary, which ran until 1962 in the US, though continues in Italy today. This series oh. would mark the very first time that Daisy was given the spotlight and more prominent Good. role that she always deserved. Okay. In 1959, she would briefly appear in Donald Duck <sighs> educational short, How to Have an Accident at work, where she'll be voiced by famed voice artist June Foray. Best known as the voice oh, of Rocky well. from the Rocky and Bullwinkle show, various characters in Warner Brothers and Looney Tunes cartoons, and Lucifer from Disney's own Cinderella. Goodness. This short is notable for being the final Donald Duck cartoon short. Daisy hmm. would continue to be a prominent force in comics throughout the 1960s, 70s, and early 80s, though during this period, following the death of Walt Disney, all animated hmm. short series were cancelled. 1983's extended Mickey Mouse short, Mickey's Christmas Carol, marked the grand return of the Such a good, oh, I love this animation, one. And would Such see a Daisy take on the role of Isabel, the first love mm -hmm. of Ebenezer Scrooge from the classic Dickens novel. Here she would appear yes. in a pink colour scheme. Strangely, Daisy would completely skip 1987 series Duck Tales, but yes. would appear prominently the in the 1996 television series Quack Pack, over a decade <laughs> since her last major screen appearance. In Quack Pack, Daisy would appear in a more modern design, with a fashionable mm -hmm. 90s hairstyle and mm -hmm. ever-changing wardrobe of contemporary 90s clothing, ditching Never her bow altogether. Here, Daisy's eyelids would no longer be shiny, but instead a flat indigo colour, while her pupils mm -hmm. would be made slightly smaller and purple. In Quack Pack, Daisy Herbal. would take on the role of a television reporter, placing her as a smart, stylish, and successful businesswoman, again playing hmm. up to her sophisticated image of the classic shorts. In 1999's Fantasia, Fantasia 2000, so good. Daisy returns to a more classic look, without her 90s hair and hmm. with shiny eyelids. Here, her pupils remain purple. This is another hmm. example of a character performance from Daisy, as she plays against Donald in a biblical-inspired sequence. Hmm. That same year, in Mickey's Once yes, Upon a Christmas, I love this one. To her more traditional so good. classic appearance. All the Christmas continue, stuff is so good. with the re-edition of Blouse, Bow and Skirt, which would now be made much more obvious mm. due to its colouring. Her eyelids, however, much as in Quack Pack, would not appear shiny. This film is also notable for being the first program where Daisy would be voiced by her now current voice actress, Tress McNeil. Hmm. Oh, so oh, wow. iconic. I, I like this one a lot. carry over into 1999 TV yes. series Mickey Mouse Works, where Daisy would appear in a variety of shorts mm. alongside Donald and cycle through a variety of different coloured costumes, much like in the classic shorts. It's I like how her bow matches Mouse her shoes. continue to display Daisy's irritability, showing herself to be perhaps more tumultuous than even Donald. The series so would also develop dude. her into a louder, more talkative, and more meddlesome personality, as well as be the first series to develop her as the best friend of Minnie. Mm -hmm. Unlike most of the other characters House in series Mouse House is of so Mouse, good. Daisy would undergo Man. another modern redesign. Mm -hmm. Here she the would most often be seen in a blue and purple employer uniform with a mm -hmm. small bow on her head, which mm -hmm. would sit upon a large ponytail. Yep. Here, her Mouseworks personality would carry over, though she would become more headstrong and determined in her quest mm -hmm. for fame. The series would also see her become somewhat more independent from Donald, forging her own path and backbone. 2004's Mickey, Donald, Goofy, The Three Musketeers mm -hmm. Would That's a good movie. I like that one. Costumed character role, portraying the lady-in-waiting of Princess mm -hmm. Minnie. 
2004's Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas would return this one. Daisy to her more nope. traditional design, though once again without Bo. However, would see her presented in CG animation for the very mm. first time. Here, she would once again take on her more sophisticated, fashionable personality. Mm. This same CG design would be utilized Mickey in Mouse Clubhouse, series, okay, yes. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, as well as in its two spin off series, Minnie's Bo Tunes from 2011 mm. and Mickey and the Roadster Racers from 2017. Have not the heard two spin offs are incredibly notable in this instance as they prominently feature Daisy as a main character in a way that she had perhaps never been utilised before outside of maybe Quack Pack. The series also firmly established her as the best friend of Minnie Mouse. Mm -hmm. In these three series, she takes on her most recognisable purple colour scheme, complete with bow. Currently, Daisy can be seen appearing in the recent series of Paul Rudish Mickey Mouse Shorts, which debuted in 2013. So good, the art style is so fantastic. In a stylized version of her classic mm -hmm. design, most mm -hmm. often appearing in a pink color scheme with her classic blouse and bow, though sometimes she does appear in modern themed outfits. Mm -hmm. She is drawn here in a style that somewhat imitates classic 1920s black and white so animation. So fun, if you a haven't seen it, well watch it. style before her first appearance. This design sees her take on pie eyes for the very first time. Once again mm. in this series, Daisy is placed as the best pal of Minnie Mouse and is more independent from her lover Donald. I'm certainly mm -hmm. glad that Daisy has found a more prominent role in recent films, solidifying her as a Disney classic. And mm -hmm. with that, it's over to you guys out there. I want to know what is your favourite Daisy Duck appearance over the last 82 years. Fire That's away in the crazy. comments below and let me know your thoughts. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos, it you is. like what you've seen, you'd like to see more like this in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen right hit now. That and also hit that like button, button down bro. below if you're feeling extra generous. Also, don't forget to check out my many social media accounts and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day. You too, bro. Thank you. That was so fun. I had no idea that Daisy Duck has been like a legit character for the most part for 82 years that she is pretty much grandma age at that point. I guess I'll go over a few different points. I really enjoyed the music. It wasn't very overbearing and it didn't really distract me from like listening to the information and it was bouncy and fun so that was kind of nice just to have in the back. The narration and information itself was very clear and very helpful because there was a lot of stuff in that that I was not familiar with, like a bunch of the comics and stuff and the newspapers. I had no idea those were a thing. Once again, overall, the audio and the narration was very clear. I could understand everything. Um, and then including the voice clips from the different voice actors for Daisy Duck was very fun because I had no idea that there were that many. And while I didn't necessarily recognize all of the voice actor names, I did kind of recognize some of the specific voices. So that was fun to kind of see what different medias I have recognized some of the voice actors in with Daisy Duck. When speaking of the actual content, it was very fun. As I've already said, it was very informational. A lot of that I was not familiar with. It was definitely very helpful to have kind of that little time marker throughout the video that was actually showing what time period was being discussed for Daisy Duck's evolution, so that was fun to see as well. It was extremely impressive to see the attention to detail specifically with like the design of Daisy Duck and how there was a difference between like the eyelids and just the outfits and everything. I never would have noticed that, but like it was cool to put that out there. But yeah, overall, very informational, very fun. There was a lot of stuff I personally learned because I'm not very familiar with all the details about all the different Disney characters because there are so many. But that was a fantastic video. I didn't know that there was a series discussing the evolution of Disney characters. So I'm personally probably going to take some time to go through those because I do love Disney stuff. I really like the classic stuff and some of the newer stuff as well. So that was very fun. But that's essentially the reaction video, so if you have anything that you would like for me to check out, let me know and I'll get to watching it as soon as I can. I do have a Wix website where you can kind of see what I'll be reacting to throughout the rest of the year, so feel free to check that out. Uh, but that's essentially it, so thank you very much for watching. Bye!